Today, we are going to recalibrate a thousand pound scale. So the first step is to take the tank off the scale. And before you do that, you gotta unhook the hoses. Then we're gonna come around over here to the, the 201. And we're gonna take these four screws out for the cover of the 201. Okay, now we are at the point where we need to take the indicator out of the 201. So to do that, you're going to grab the top of the indicator, press down, rotate the indicator out, and then um, press it up. And you'll notice that sometimes these wires might get in the way, so you don't have clearance to keep going up. So make sure they're out of the way, and then you, you go up until it, it releases. Now if you can see on the back of there, this is spring loaded right here. So what we're doing is we're, we're pressing this spring um, to attach it to that rail right there. The next thing you gotta do is Take this set screw on, on the right side here out so that you can calibrate the scale. You want to make sure to not lose this screw. All right. So once that's out, the next thing you want to do is uh, take a small screwdriver and gently press up until you just feel a, a slight click and you'll, the screen will have a setup mode. So after the setup mode, you just simply uh, scroll through this. So you start with F2 and uh, push F2 three times until you get to calibrate. Then push F3. Two times and until you see no and you're going to want to change that to yes. So then push F2 until the yes comes up and then push F3 again and you'll see the the calibration one. So now is where you'll put the 500 pounds on this thousand pound scale. When, when you have a uh, 150 pound scale, you're gonna put uh, the default, which is a 175 pounds. When you have a 300 pound scale, you're gonna put 300 pounds of weight on. And when you have 500 pounds, you're gonna have 500 pounds to calibrate because that's what the, the default mode is. Once the weight is put on the scale, the next step is to push F3. And you'll see that a thousand pounds um, comes up on the screen. And so you're gonna to have to change that to 500 because we are calibrating this 500 pound scale with, with 500 pounds. And so to do that, you just uh, push F1 to the left and then uh, you push F2 to, to uh, change the value so we're gonna put that one at zero, and then F3 to go back to the right, and we're gonna then push F2 to calibrate, to uh, change the value to, to five. So now we have 500 pounds. Now we're just gonna use F3 to scroll to the right, and we're going to go all the way to the last zero, 
And when you get to this point, you want to make sure that only the 500 pounds is on the scale. So you just double check, make sure that, that everything else is clear. And then when, when you, then you just push F3. And when you do that, the dotted lines will come across the screen until it is calibrated. The next step is to remove all the weights and, um, and then calibrate it at zero. It says uh, Cal 2 on the screen. That, that's what we're looking for. Once the scale is clear, press F3 again, and this readout will be zero. And one more time, F3 will actually do the calibration. Once the dotted lines stop going across the screen, uh, F SPA will, sh will appear. And then you just simply have to push F2 one more time. And the uh, and the numbers will come up for um, the readout, and it should be calibrated. Now, to test that, we'll put 50 pounds on and see, and that's, that's very accurate. So the red light will go off when, it, uh, when you get above 10 pounds. So then when he takes these weights off, the red light should uh, come on because it, once it gets down to 10 pounds, the red light indicator will come on saying it's, it's uh, getting low. And when you're, when you're done calibrating, you just uh, do the reverse process. Uh, so remember to put the set screw back in. Once that's installed, we're going to reattach it to the rail. Remembering that we have a spring back here that, uh, it, that we're going to push down on once we get the, the, the top lip of the bracket attached to the rail. So you're going to bring the, two, the indicator in at an angle until you, until you can feel that it is uh, on the top of the rail and then you press down on that spring until you can f you get the bottom part of the bracket to roll over onto the rail and then it's secure. And that's pretty much a uh, recalibration of a thousand pound scale. One thing to note is that when you're calibrating a scale, it's the same process whether it's on a liquid stand like this or whether it's uh, on a, in a panel with a seed hopper um, with, a thousand, with thousands of pounds. It's the same process. Another thing to note is we calibrated a thousand pound scale with 500 pounds. So we had to uh, go on the indicator and change it to 500 pounds. You can calibrate a 300 pound scale with 300 pounds or a 500 pound scale with 500 pounds. Then you will not have to change the uh, readout. The only reason we changed the readout on the 1,000 pound scale was because we weren't actually using 1,000 pounds for calibration.